actually uh i think I'm, i've called it wrestle line live night where i'll just be coming on just before the show starts and also giving my instant reaction um so you haven't got to wait quite for the podcast to happen with a review you're going to get an instant reaction and then you're going to hear me later on where i've calmed down a bit or you know gone the other way and i'm worse uh, hopefully not uh later on on the podcast so that's kind of like a very instant uh stuff that we're going to get into more often and of course interviews that's going to be another big feature on youtube to be able to do sit down interviews with people and again some of those interviews they're going to cross over with a podcast so we're going to be able to not only have them visually but they also may come onto the podcast as well and uh, be recorded so lots of different stuff there matt i've hopefully i've uh, <laughs> made some yeah, sort of um, sense of all this uh, and of course we will be live in attendance at a few wrestling events this year as yes, well yes so, yes uh, uh, i was going to get no to that spoilers on what they may be yet but we will be there and you know not everyone can attend these events so if you want to hear about how good they were we'll definitely give you the low down on that and uh yeah so that will be interesting because uh, for some of them we got front row seats even so yes there you go. uh yeah well, i was going to talk about that at the end of the show matt but i'm glad you brought that up but yes, uh, and, and those, and Matt's right, you know, when we go to these shows, um, everyone always wants to know what our experience was like, and they have to wait for us on the podcast. Now, I, I kind of, it's going to be great, because we're going to be able to just do some like vlogging and literally just be there in front of you guys. We can just literally talk to you guys in the arena before it happens. Um, you'll, you'll feel the atmosphere around it. Um, especially for people that are not familiar with the UK when, when they come over and stuff like that. And um, even more than that is hopefully, you know, with us now, we're becoming more established. We'll be going in as working press as well, which gives us even more access to certain things behind the scenes. And, and all these things are going to benefit you guys, the audience um, that are watching it, because uh, the more of that we can get, the better. So, um yeah matt's got a great point we'll definitely be doing using the, the vlogging series for when we go to those shows matt and uh, putting them up straight away it kind of it's one of those things you don't really need to edit too much we can just go out live and that's it it's up there so that's kind of what we want to do more of a little bit like we've done at progress actually uh we, we kind of had a bit of a go there um so yeah that's all the stuff in terms of content there is more to come uh i will be publishing a um, picture later that will go on our facebook page um to show you guys just what is on what at the moment um because there is a lot of stuff even i'm kind of lost with it all at the moment because there is so much stuff coming out but this is uh this is all good news i mean we wanted we said last time, Matt, that we felt like we were a bit like AEW, just literally double or nothing and going all out for it. And um, that's what I feel like we've done here, Matt. I feel like we've gone all out um, and, uh, you know, thrown everything to it this time for this relaunch. And um, I think going in a very positive way and uh, upgrading everything. I want to thank uh, everybody. Uh, there might be some a uh, few new listeners here because... Our Instagram page, we've literally had an Instagram page. I made it up about a week ago, but I didn't advertise it on Facebook and I haven't done on the podcast or SoundCloud or any of the other stuff yet because uh, I've literally just been playing about with it really and I thought I'd, I'd let you guys hear it. But honestly, I, I published a few pictures. I want to thank uh, Matt's wife for this as well. Uh, she gave me an idea. I need to start tagging and hashtagging stuff. Well, I did that. Man, we've had a crazy response, and I've had a lot of messages. I've never had messages through my Instagram. I didn't even know how to use messages. Now I do. Uh, so I had about 30-something come up, giving me thumbs up, and it's nice, and great pictures, and all the rest of it. I only literally put up about two pictures. So um, I will be putting a load more stuff. So stuff like, like Matt just said, all our experiences, all wrestlers we meet, shows we go to, We'll, we'll put all the pictures up there. I mean, that's what we're going to use the Instagram for. That's all it really is, really, anyway. It's all about pictures. Um, I know that sometimes we get lost with Facebook, but I think Facebook we're going to keep to basically, you know, any new things that come out, um, like YouTube. It'll kind of be all access areas to go to these these next uh, platforms. Of course, we're on Twitter as well. Um, that's even more alien to me, I've got to be honest with you. But uh, we're doing well there as well. Um, so, that's going to be coming along 
Um, and by the next time we have another podcast, Matt, I think we're going to have another social media platform to go on to as well. So that's going to be pretty crazy. So I want to encourage everybody to go on over to our YouTube um, page. It's just WrestleLine Channel. Go over there. Um, we've got videos on there now that we did from Progress. So for those of you that haven't seen them, they're already available. Um, they go back a little bit of a way. But also, we've got new content. Myself and Matt took some time out. And we thought, you know, just in case people aren't familiar with us and might just be coming across us for the first time, let's just do a little background about us, um, what we like, what we dislike, a little bit of history about the uh, the podcast itself. Those videos are going out, um, I would say, in the next couple of weeks. Next few weeks, um, definitely in August, you're going to start to see them. So I want to make sure everybody goes on over to the channel. You'll really be supporting us if you hit the subscribe button. Just hit the subscribe and you're always going to see the latest stuff we come up with. Um, I really do think you guys are going to enjoy it. If you like this podcast, um, I can't see that you're not going to enjoy visually seeing us as well. I mean, we ain't the most... We ain't the most attractive geezers, but, you know, I think we can host the show pretty well now. And I think we've got some great ideas and we've we've had great ideas in the past. And don't forget, we're always up to listening for new ideas from our audience. So if you've got something or you've got a format that you think, oh, that's a good idea, try this. We're all ears. We always have been. We always listen to our, our listeners. Um, so, yeah. Um, Matt, anything to add that I've, I've missed out in all this? I'm sure there is, but... So there's always going to be something. But, you know, I think you've hit all the uh, the main topics on the head there. I think uh, we'll just drip feed the information more as we come across it and uh, or as we remember it if, yeah. if our brains are working correctly. Yeah, yeah, it's been a long day for me. Um, but uh, yeah, a few people said you know you've taken off your Facebook cover. What's happened? Uh, that's because we're getting a new one done. And uh, and also I should mention the podcast. We're going to get a brand new cover. I think it deserves it. Uh, a professional touch is coming in. So uh, you're not just going to get the logo on it now. You're going to get something else um, that's going to have a little bit of a professional edge on it. I'm looking forward to having that on. Um, so anybody listens to us on you know, iTunes and Spreaker and Podcast Addict and SoundCloud and iHeartRadio, wherever we are, um, wherever we are in the world even, um, you're going to see a nice new cover picture. And I think we've... We've kind of earned that, and I definitely wanted something special just for the podcast because I, I wanted it for you guys that have been loyal all this time uh, to do that. And, uh, and not only that, we're going to have a nice little intro to the YouTube channel as well, um, nice little animation uh, to it as well. So really, all things, uh, I think, is a, in terms of a presenting, well, I think, um, I think it's uh, pretty much going the right way we've got all the new equipment i'm sure if you haven't already seen on facebook and other places i did post a load on soundcloud of all the equipment that i've been buying in because you need good equipment that's the thing um myself and matt we like literally did press for like the first time in terms of doing this podcast anyway the first time going to a, to an, a show and i know that like look we're realistic you know we know where we come from and we were a little bit like we were get we were going in there and we were thinking crikey we were going to be really out of our depth or you know we're going to just fit in nicely and i felt like we actually fit in quite nicely compared to everyone else anyway um but i was always i had my eyes opened i was i was keen to see what everyone was using um and you know I, and some of these people i have been really really helpful um in fact i want to i will plug them because he's been super helpful with my equipment and that's from talk sport um will gavin i want to give him a shout out because though these guys like i'm the same as well if anyone wants any help with anything i'm not one of these guys that's like no nah, no nah, our stuff only you've only got to listen to us i'm not like that at all i never have been and i've always told people on this podcast and we do get mentions for this matt they always do mention this they're like man you always like give plugs out to all these other people how come that is um but yeah for me that's because uh literally um you know why not you know there are other good podcasts out there as well as ours and uh, you know i'm not stupid i know that people that listen to podcasts probably listen to other podcasts it's not like you've got itunes for nothing or anything you know of course you are so um we've always been about that but yes uh when we went there i was looking about and i was thinking we need this we need that 
Um, and I think we're pretty much there, Matt, aren't we, really, with uh, with all the equipment? I think we uh, we test run a, a bit of that last week, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And uh, like you say, it's always a good thing to sort of like give people their due. And, uh, you know, I hope the people listening to us like us, though. So if you do, stay with us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, uh, and I want to thank all the people as well. I didn't know this, um, but I got a... I got like a, a notification. I want to thank the people on SoundCloud that have given us not only a, a good review, a thumbs up, but have also written nice reviews about us. So I want to thank everybody that's taken time to do that. And uh, going forward, if that's something you've got time to do, even if it's just a couple of words, um, you know, you might even come across an episode and might not even like it. Fine. That's absolutely fine. You, you're entitled to your opinion, but like any feedback is good for us because we can critique things and you know it helps us uh, evolve even more. So I, I really appreciate people doing that, and uh, that only helps us more. Um, okay, so I'm going to finish up on that. I know people wanted me to talk about that for a while. I feel like I've I've done as much as I possibly can there uh, with all that. Matt, um, you alluded to some tickets. Um, that you've you've got hold of. I don't know how he's managed to do it, Matt. I think you you might get your own business here in doing this. I reckon. Um, let let's let everybody know where are we going, Matt, in October now, because we're not going WWE. It was uh, well, was it October yeah. we were going WWE? Or was it November? I can't remember. When it, was it was November. It was November. It was November. Okay. So yeah. we we've decided uh, we've reinvested our money and we haven't had to spend as much either. So that's even better, <laughs> isn't it? Um, but yeah. yeah. Let, Let's levy. Where are we going, Matt? Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we'll be going back to the York Hall, you know, classic venue that that yep. is, and seeing some more Ring of Honor. Yes, and uh, no I got to say, every time they come to the UK, it's not just like they're just gonna give you any old show. It's one of the top quality shows because uh, every time I have seen Ring of Honor in the UK, they have put on a tremendous performance, mm. and the talent that they bring with them is always top world class so it's yeah. going to be very exciting to see and uh you know it's not only that as well we were talking before uh about uh in like next month in fact mm. uh yeah. you know new japan is yeah. coming over yeah. Aren't yeah. They? so we, we will definitely be there in some capacity mm -hmm. but we'll, we'll update more on that as it as and when it happens yes i believe you're you're definitely in aren't you matt you are definitely yes, there yes, so matt me. Matt is there. That's going to be an amazing experience uh, for, for that one as well. And also, um, I don't know, I still don't know where he's at because I haven't asked Matt this, but Progress in September, I'll definitely be there, either solo or, or with you. But yeah, they're, they're booked as well. So, And uh, saying that, there's, there's something else that's come up as well. So there's loads of stuff coming on in the back end of the year. Um, that we're looking to um but funny enough only this morning matt something come on my facebook which just amused the hell out of me especially for us living in essex um triple h what do you make of that promo matt triple h this morning i don't know who's seen this or who hasn't but triple h come out <laughs> trying to big nxt up because it's going to be in brentwood it's going to be in essex for the first time so he says not only is the only way is essex the biggest thing one of the biggest draws for reality TV, but now NXT UK can match that. I was like, good God, uh, he really doesn't know his market, does he? Most people no. from Essex actually turn their nose up at that bloody I mean, show. I mean, <laughs> we're not the, proud the of it. Of, the chance of me ever meeting him, like for a sit down <laughs> thing, are very slim. But if he just took my name for what it was, he'd probably think that'd be hilarious or yeah, something that yeah. would impress me, and I'd be like, oh no, you just really don't get it. Yeah, he would. He'd throw a line at that. Um, yeah, I don't know how um, excited I am for that um in brentwood it is only down the road from us but um i oh, will wait and see with that one i'm a little bit apprehensive on it uh on the tapings i'm sure that's what it is um yes yeah, so more of that stuff coming up i mean ring of honor we don't really know yet but they kind of do have a list of roster don't they matt normally who they're yeah. going to bring over on a tour but that's uh that'll probably come up there isn't up now is it or is it um, I hadn't actually checked. Uh, yeah, so, I just went straight away. I was yeah. like, I've <laughs> I've done the old thing of a fan, like for yeah. my loyalty here. Being like, I've been impressed with the last few shows. Every time they've been over, so I'm definitely getting my tickets because I know it's going to be good. Uh, except this time, uh, it might be a bit cooler because last time we was there, it's practically melting. Yeah, uh, it was. Oh, God, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, it's reminding me of what it's like today. Um, <laughs> yeah, so it's going to be a great time, and, and I like York Hall. I love the atmosphere of it. It's um, it's a legendary place for wrestling and boxing. 
but uh, I remember it very nostalgically because I used to work there with the FWA. So it's that's going to be great um, to be back there and, and see some of those guys. I'm sure Party Marty Skirtle will uh, will possibly be there as well, Matt. So that'll be cool. Um, some of the UK talent that they have are in and around.